Hey there, hello once again, fellow flight simmers and cockpit builders. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about custom commands and data refs because when I did those other videos a couple of weeks ago, I realized that there was something on the website that I didn't even talk about, I didn't even mention. And then I figured, you know, maybe since I kind of missed it too, even though I did read it when I was researching for those videos about the new custom converter and all that, I figure that many of you maybe have not even noticed that or haven't even taken a look at it. But what I'm talking about is basically um, when we do a custom conversion and we have to put uh, you know, custom commands and data refs, each type of component like a button, a switch, a multi-position switch or an encoder or even a potentiometer takes different types of data. You know, different. Uh, it asks you for different, uh, different inputs in there in the fields. And that's what I want to talk about today because I think it's very important. You know, once you get comfortable using uh, custom commands and data refs, um, it becomes very easy for you to to be able to fill in those fields and put the appropriate uh, parameters in there. But when you don't know about that, you know, it's a little bit more difficult to understand what are you even supposed to be looking for to put in those fields. So that's what we're going to talk about on this video. All right, so first things first, let's come over to the website. And before we go any further, just remember that I am not a spokesperson and I don't represent um, the creators of SimVim X and Real Sim Control. I'm just a hard headed user, you know, that wants to make these videos to try to help out other people in their process of creating a home cockpit. So, um, you know, when I'm doing these videos, uh, you know, of course, the way the website looks and works is going to be depending on the date you know that I recorded the video and as you guys probably already know by now everything is subject to change so just keep that in mind okay so when we come to the website here and you, you go to the configurator um, this is where you're gonna see this conversion guide and this is what I want to talk about because actually before I go any further let me show you guys this so this is the list that I made when when I was working on those uh, custom commands and data rest for the Cessna 172, I have made quite a few videos, you know, using these as, as an example. And right here, you know, this one, the first one here is a button and it's a command and this is a command, you know, it's just a toggle command, I guess you can say. And then over here we have an encoder. This is a data ref, which is this one. This is the value that it goes from zero to 100 and the step is 25. Um, then another data ref for another encoder, the same thing. It also has the, the data ref itself, the value range, and then the step, which is how much it increments every time you click the encoder over. Um, this is a, a toggle switch, a simple on and off switch, uh, and it's a data ref, and all it has is a value of zero or one because it only has two positions, of course. And then um, uh, this is an analog uh, potentiometer, uh, this is the data ref that goes with it, and this is the value that it does. It just goes from 0 to 1 when it's fully open and fully closed, and that doesn't have a step. You know, it's an analog um, potentiometer, of course. And this one right here is the more interesting one. is a, the three-position uh, toggle switch, uh, which is usually on, off, on. And this has a command, actually two commands. So it's either a left and right command or an up and down command. In this case, it happens to be left and right because it's a left fuel tank or the right fuel tank. And then it also has a data ref associated with it. And this is what the data ref is, the value range, and then it has a center position value as well, and how much it changes every time you move it, which of course will be negative one, zero, and one. So the main part that I wanted to show about this is this. If you go to the conversion guide, you get to this part right here. And this is where I showed you guys a little bit of this page the other day. This is where you're going to see the new format of the data configuration file. But that's not the part I was interested in talking about. Um, down here at the bottom, this little part right here, if you guys didn't click on any of this, you guys maybe never knew. But this is where it talks about what types of data you have to put into each one of these different uh, buttons. So like for the momentary button, as I said before, it could just be a toggle command, like my Cessna 172 autopilot button. And all it is is one command. And every time you push it, you know, it toggles it either on or off. Okay. And then 
It could also be a data ref, of course, for a single button. And then this is where you put the, the value over here. Um, and then, of course, it can be a data ref with more than one value as well. Okay, so that's for the momentary button. Then you get to the toggle switch over here. And then this one right here, um, like I said a little while ago, it has up and down commands or left and right commands. Um, it could um, be a toggle command or it could be a data ref with different values in it as well. Um, this is where you know you go through all the different types of data that it might ask you for. Um, and it actually has also like the one that I mentioned last on that paper, it also has a toggle command and an associated data ref. So depending on what you choose, this will give you the different options. You know, each one, each type of uh, component will give you different options for what data to put in. But I really, really recommend that you guys go through this page and you read every single one of these things, you know, especially like, for example, the rotary switches here. It may have a bunch of commands where each position of the switch is going to have a different command. You know, or it could also use, you know, a data ref with a bunch of different command um, values for each position of that switch. Um, what is this one? And this is an up and down command with an associated data ref, kind of like the three position toggle switch that I just mentioned, which has um, a command, but also it had a left and right command for the fuel tank selector switch, but it also had an associated data ref with it. Um, so yeah, this is right here. This is really good. The H switch, I'm going to talk about this H switches on a different video um, because this is one of those like momentary um, contact switches that you, you can either do the toggle switch to the left or to the right or up and down. And every time you, you click it and then you let it go, it goes back to the center position. So that's kind of what I think that is what is called a uh, H switch. Um, and then you got encoders. You know, so this is the different data formats that you can use for encoders. And there is also uh, some information for LEDs, for LEDs paired with a corresponding switch, and also for extra text that you want to display on seven segment displays or LCDs. So this lets you, you know, do that. I mean, there are so many options with all these things that it's just simply amazing that all this functionality is built into this. Um, but basically, this is what I wanted to talk about in this video because, um, like I said, if, if any of you didn't click on all of these things, you maybe didn't even realize that all that information was there. And although you can go on the internet and you can look up, you know, custom commands or data reps or whatever, and you could probably find thousands of pages of information, you know, this right here is specifically as it relates to SimVimX and real Sim control. So I think it's really handy. All right, guys. Well, I guess this is going to be it for this video. Um, it looks like I finally managed to make a somewhat shorter video. But I just thought that this information was very important to share because it could be very handy for those of you that are struggling with uh, custom commands and data refs. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave it off here. And then I'll see you on the next one, which hopefully will be very soon.